Being an adult is hard. It's so easy to get into a rut and think about the inevitability of death. <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking? Wait, let's just do it. Okay, ah, we'll do something totally different. We should just start with something like fun and light, high energy. Hell yeah. Action. Hey guys. No. <laughs> hey, this is worth it where we this try- This is not worth it. <laughs> I need you to focus. Focusing. And action. This is Go Fund Yourself, where we take people who are unsatisfied in their day to day and set them up with unconventional hobbies. Can we see if it sticks? Who are you? Oh, I'm Kate, one of your co-hosts, and that's Steven, your other co-host. Nope. Yes, uh, you are my co-host. No. Nope. You're not a feminist if you're not my co-host. Oh my God. A few weeks ago, we sent out a company-wide email asking people if they were unhappy with their day to day recreational activity. Turns out, a lot of people are. Most people just work a lot and then go home and watch television and then that's it. It's really a lot to like do a new thing. From those responses, we found Ella. Now, things about Ella. She believes that fairies exist. <laughs> she does. She used to be a lifeguard. She's a very good swimmer and she doesn't have a whole lot of hobbies. So I matched her up with mermaiding. Is that a is that a recreation? Yeah. And then what? And then we're gonna happen? see if it changes her life. <laughs> All right, that's it. This is go fun yourself. Yay! And today we've got Ella. Hello. Notoriously unsatisfied. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is my co-host, Steven. Not co-host. He's my co-host. No. Nope. You were looking for a hobby that yeah. was. I'd love to be outdoors. I'd like to be a little creative and maybe have some fun with it. Maybe add some more play back into my life. Yes. I, don't I believe know. you said childlike. Wonder. Childlike wonder, yes. yes. Being an adult, you get busy, you get tired. Also, after work, I have to go home and feed myself. <laughs> it just feels like hobbies aren't worth it after a while. Right? Yeah, I'm just tired. Obviously, you know of all like the conventional hobbies. Kickball is like the only hobby that comes to mind. Kickball and like stamp collecting. But there are many other very, very fun ones. Are there? I'm honestly a little nervous. I mean, it's going to be pretty embarrassing. It involves being completely naked. <laughs> not listening. <laughs> I cannot wait. Okay, we're gonna reveal it now. You're gonna freaking lose your mind. Oh, sh Three, two, one, ba-boom! Ah! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to your new hobby. My hobby is becoming a mermaid. Yeah. You're gonna get a fin and everything. Holy sh! They're f not real mermaids, right? No, they're not real mermaids. <laughs> my mermaid name's Caribbean Pearl, and I'm being a mermaid for seven years. My name is Mermaid Abby, and I've been a mermaid since I was two years old. I kind of want to cry because I'm scared. You're scared? Why are you scared? Here's the thing. I. I am a little afraid of people that dress up like characters. Anyone who's like dressing up in an outfit and like being a character, because I know that it's not really them, and I'm like a little weirded out. I, I may have f***ed up. I respect them, I respect what they do. They're very talented. Here's the thing, I love mermaids. And you I'm used to kidding. swim, and you're about to put on a fin and swim with professional mermaids. Oh Even though I'm a little bit nervous, I'm gonna try to keep an open mind and just try to have fun with it. Hi, I'm Hello. Ella. My name is Merman Jax. Okay. I'm the founder and a performer for a company called Dark Tide Productions. Okay. And today we're gonna teach you how to be a mermaid. How did you get into this? It's one of those things I grew up as a competitive swimmer. Okay. And I've worked in the entertainment industry and I kind of just fell into it. But it's actually really good for your body and it's okay. nice on the joints, it's good exercise and, and it's fun. So not only am I learning a hobby, but a potential new career. Potentially. Depending, yeah, that's up to you, buddy. Your name is Merman Jax, yes? So yes. is that your character? That is the character name, yeah. Okay, Ella will be coming up with a character. Absolutely. Yeah. Opposed to a persona, it'll be a mersona. Oh! She'll be coming up with a mersona! So here are some top accessories, things to think about, and your beautiful tail that you get to use today. I love it's it. from Swim Tales. They provided this for you. This is where you can start thinking about if any of these inspire you. I can see like why she picked this for me because I do like mermaids and I talk about them a lot. Are you gonna be maybe more mysterious, maybe more sexy? Or okay. maybe if you're shy, you're more outgoing and more friendly. Are there 
evil mermaids. Absolutely. That could be the thing. You could look innocent okay. and sweet, but you can actually be a siren. Maybe I, you want to yeah, drown I people. that's what I want to do. Yeah, I want to lure people? them in and then I want to drown them. Oh no! These are really beautiful, but yeah. let's be honest, I don't have the goods to fill out those tops. I'm a sporty mermaid. You're athletic. I'm an athletic, there you go. evil mermaid. There it is. Wow, it all happened so fast the second you put together. the crown on. And the last and final step is going to be picking what you want your mermaid name to be. I don't know. I think I need to get into my outfit, I need to practice some moves, and I think the name will become clear then. First thing I'm gonna have you do is just go ahead and lean back. Okay. Arch your back, put your okay. shoulders back, and just sunbathe. Okay. And give us a smile. You can, it can be like an evil smile, right? I'm gonna have you go to your tummy. Oh gosh. <laughs> I didn't think this would be work. Give me your hands like this. Okay. And then put your fin up in the air. Yes, girl. Hey. hey. Oh, I'm trying to entice people over to me. Yeah. Just stopping by to see how you're feeling. I'm like scared that I'm not going to be able to do this. I got your back, Merbabe. Merbabe. Aw, <laughs> thank you. You're going to be fantastic. I don't fantastic. know what she's talking about. The puns coming out of this one are wild. How do I get into this? We're going to roll down the body of your tail okay. so that you can put your foot into okay. your fluke. Oh. Okay, yeah. But you're is, feeling the fin. I'm feeling the fin. Imagine that. So you know how to swim? Yes. I did lifeguarding and like swim team. So oh, that's I'm really good. I'm really comfortable in the water. Okay, yeah. the Maybe. dolphin stroke yeah. or the S-curve is just the butterfly. I never really did that one. Okay, it's, it's the up and down, yes. Worst comes to worst, I can just float. You can just float beautifully. Yeah. That's perfect. Slip on in. And I think one of the fun tricks we'll teach you is the tail slap. It's pretty simple. Get a little speed. See? Just a little that? slap like okay. that. Okay. And you can go really big, you can go really small. Being a mermaid is a lot of work. If you're really ready to go, we're gonna have you try a corkscrew or a barrel roll. Oh. Try that. doing great. I don't think she even needs this really. <laughs> we just had to bring in the tail. That was it. She's a natural. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sapphire the Siren. Oh my god. Hello. My name is Sapphire the Siren. Kate texted me and said, do you want to see Ella be a mermaid? And I didn't know that she meant for real. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is real. This is a mer marvelous day. Marvelous. <laughs> this is cool, but it's not freaking all. We got some tricks to show ya. Tricks? Like a, you're a trained dolphin? Like a trained <laughs> gosh dang mermaid. Yay. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Yay. Oh, there she goes. Graceful, <laughs> like a mermaid. Oh, yeah. wow. wow. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That was, I, I was convinced. She legit looks like a mermaid. Yeah. This is the weirdest moment of our friendship, for sure. Welcome, Quinta. Hi, how's it going? Quinta, come sit by me so you can use my... <laughs> Didn't we always see her as this? Yeah, Ella is a mermaid. I always thought of her as like a fairy or a mermaid. True, true. It Ooh. really does feel like I'm at the aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> We learned a new hobby today. I we did. had some ups and downs. Yeah. I think I was having like a little ego and I was nervous of like looking dumb. But once I got in that tail, that was a game changer. That the was second a game you pulled up that tail, you literally got into character. I'm gonna be honest, it was really, really fun. I had you a look class. Like you're having so much and fun. I've been really stressed out lately, working so much. So you know what? Thank you, Kate. <gasps> this was really, really good. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. would you say it was Worth it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this was definitely a unique hobby, but this really reminded me to have a little bit more fun and take stuff less seriously. I can't believe it took you and these three mermaids to remind me of that. Wow. <laughs> Change is possible, kids. <laughs> I know this sounds silly, but I did have a great time. What a day. What a whirlwind. What? It was day. fun, and she ended up having fun and liking it. So what have we learned from this? I learned that I should put on more sunscreen.
Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.